Welcome everyone. This is the endorsement and I want to thank you for finding my video and uh, hopefully checking it out. Um, a little bit about myself and what I'm going to be doing. Uh, this is my first video. I plan on doing food reviews as well as beverage reviews. Um, I've been currently checking out some uh, guys on YouTube that's been uh, you know, reviewing beverages, uh, food, um, Dame Drops, uh, Joey from Joey's, Joey's uh, Super Cool Food, food Reviews, uh, Trav Tries, just to name a couple. Um, and I'm a foodie at heart. Um, I watch so many of these videos. Um, I love to hear people's opinions on these. Um, and I think I can kind of put my own little special spin on it. Um, it's something I've been thinking about doing for a while. Um, forgive me for the, the video quality may not be obviously the best to some of the others, um, as well as maybe the audio. Hopefully you can hear me. Uh, just playing but hopefully you can hear me hopefully everything's coming in good um, like I said it's my first video going up I've done some other other videos very little on YouTube you can check out my channel um, of my couple other videos I did a Nike uh, free run unboxing um, when I made some Nikes um, uh, sneakers but um, and I did a tribute video to another YouTuber that I follow, it's uh, Adam the Woo. If you have never checked him out, definitely give Adam the Woo uh, a check out if you like abandoned places. Uh, he does some great things, he does a daily vlog, he's great. But um, for me, I'm going to be a little bit different. I'm going to give you some information on these uh, items that I'll be reviewing. Um, I'll probably put my, little own, my own little spin on it. Not much shtick. Um, I'm naturally funny, so no, it does. <laughs> I'm not, but uh, I'm not going to have some shtick. It's not going to be a lot of uh, production value. Um, it's going to be straight to the point. Um, I'm going to be very honest. I look at food and, and drinks and, and everything very, maybe differently from other people. Um, maybe the same. I don't know. That's what I'm hoping to find out. And uh, I'm going to rate them a little bit differently. You'll find that out in a minute, give you a little knowledge on each of the products, um, and kind of go from there and see if it's something, if it does, you know, people like it. People tune in to some other ones, you know, maybe I invest in a little GoPro, invest in a little camera action, so something different, but as for right now, I'm giving a little test, test out, uh, shout out out here to see if I can just throw this video out here and see uh, if people like it and people, you know, kind of listen to my opinions and see if it helps you, you know, if you want to get that, you know, beverage, you want to get that food, you want to try it out, or maybe you've been looking at it like me, like the, the reason I like all these videos is I'll be watching the commercials, like the newest one is the stuffed um, the stuffed nacho from Taco Bell where the kid's running out of the house and the, the, his girlfriend's father's chasing him. Um, I won't give you my opinion on that yet, but you can check out the, the other reviews um, from either those guys I mentioned or anyone else out there, and they're, they're all pretty fairly similar. I just tried this the other day. Um, so yeah, we'll leave it at that. But anyway, um, without further ado, we're going to get to my, I guess, initial taste test. Very exciting. I cannot contain my excitement. It's over the top. Um, so here we go. The first one that I will be reviewing is... Da -da 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 -da, it is Peace Tea. See it there? Peace Tea. Tea. Now, I must admit, these 23 ounce cans, um, I'm a big fan of the Arizona iced tea. Um, Arizona, actually, to be honest, totally honest, it's the green tea, ginseng, and honey uh, Arizona. Um, and I was recently in, I think this was Dollar Store or Dollar Tree, if you have any of those around you, um, and they did not have their Arizona green tea. They had it in a big jug, but I'm, I really prefer the cans. Um, so I went with this. Um, it's my first time trying this. I've tried another flavor of this, which was the Caddyshack version that was um, iced tea and regular lemonade. So we're doing a little different. Pink lemonade and tea, 99 cents, but at the dollar store it actually was 79 cents, I'm pretty sure. Maybe 89. I'd have to double check that, but I'm pretty sure it was actually it was 79 cents. Um, what they pride themselves on, 100% natural, uh, no artificial flavors, no preservatives, no artificial coloring. So I did a little research on this company, uh, which 
seems that piece T is actually made by the Monster brand. Um, and they say that in each one of these, each can has a different piece time logo um, based on different piece movements throughout history. And they say that always within these is the Monster logo, which in this one I looked for about 10 minutes before I started this video, could not find. So if you want to pause this or even get your own and think that you can find the Monster insignia, the Monster symbol, you can let me know because I could not find it unless it was right in front of my face. But um, as far as this, they were actually started in 2009, in December of 2009. They pride themselves on no artificial sweeteners, no, no artificial coloring. They do contain, um, and I wrote it down here, sucralose, which is um, an artificial sweetener. But it was interesting, I actually looked into it, the FDA approves it, it's fine. Um, it's actually less sweet than regular sucrose, um, but I think that's the allure of this right here. Um, people don't want that sweetness to it. I personally like the sweetness, that's why it's going to be a little different for me, see how I like this. Because um, it actually has 11 grams of sugar, where normally you get something like this, it might kick out at 20 to 30. 30 grams of sugar, you know, maybe more, uh, maybe in the 40s or 50s, but um, for the most part, that's kind of what we're looking at. So, um, yeah, so I'll, I'll tell you one more thing before I try this. I prefer the can. I prefer drinking out of the can. Little tip for all you out there, if you do not know, these, when they're packaged in the warehouse, um, could possibly get wrapped rat droppings on it so with any soda can any can like this of any type even beer i will rinse the top out with water and kind of clean it out i'm not very ocd but i'm, I'm just not a fan of drinking rat poop so um i clean the top of this um, i prefer to drink it out of the can what i am going to do i have a glass over here i'm going to pour a little out a lot of people i do realize like to see what it looks like see the color see what we're going with um, so I will try to oblige you there by pouring a, a little bit into the glass and kind of going from there. Um, but then I will actually drink it out of the can because I think it tastes the best, is my opinion. Unless you put a little crushed ice in there, you rock it that way with a little sweet tea, good to go. But with this, I'll just be drinking out of the, out of the can. So without further ado, here we go. So we got this glass right here on the Cormac's Irish a logo on the back. I kind of go through that. But, alright, we'll break it open. Love that sound. Love that sound. Alright, so we'll pour a little in here. And I don't know on my phone if you can get the gist of it, because it does say in the ingredients that it's dark uh, black tea, which I wasn't aware of when I got it, especially thinking pink. So it does have this kind of the tea look, very dark, kind of um, brownish, I guess you want to call it. Um, kind of go from there. But uh, all right, without further ado, here we go. Taste test of Peace Pink Lemonade Plus Tea from Peace Tea, Monster Brand. what I was afraid of. One more sip. All right. As I stated a little earlier, I like sweetness. I like my drinks to be sweet. I love sweet tea. Um, and because it has artificial sweetener, which Incidentally, it also has regular sugar, so I'm not sure why it contains regular sugar as well as this, uh, what was it called, sucralose. But that sucralose, that artificial taste, doesn't work with my mouth. Taste buds, not happening. Um, that's why diet sodas, things of that nature, not a big fan. Um, and if that's something you're into, then, then I get it. The pink lemonade flavor is actually really good. It doesn't overpower it. You can definitely taste the difference, the... the, the combination of the tea and the, the pink lemonade. So there I'm going to give them some props because it's actually very good. Um, 
nothing to complain about there. It's just that after taste of the artificial sweetener for me that kind of leaves me wanting more. So um, all in all, ice cold out of out of the can, actually really good. Um, but now even sitting here talking, I still have that taste going on in my mouth. So it's uh, the artificialness. So it's just kind of coming up a little short for me. Um, I think it was without that artificial sweetener, just kind of going straight up with, uh, you know, with regular sugar, maybe kicking it up a couple, a couple more uh, uh, milliliters with the with the, with the sugar. I think we'd be looking good. So, all in all, for my first review, um, I went into it. I, I thought I wouldn't like it um, as much as I do. Uh, I don't love it. I probably would not purchase it again. Um, it was like I said, 79 cents, 89 cents. But on my scale, where I actually am going to be re reviewing items on a scale of 1 to 100. 100 being obviously the best, 1 being don't even waste your money, in my opinion. So with this, um, I'm actually going to go, and as I was drinking, I was trying to think of where I'm going to go with it. But I'm definitely looking at, giving this a, about a 65, 65 for me. Um, you put the added sugar in there because the combination of that pink lemonade as well as the, the tea was perfect. was, I think, just a perfect combination. But that taste, is just, it just doesn't do it for me. It's, it just misses it. It's just, it just seems that, that fakeness to me. Even though, you know, health conscious, you want to go with a little less sugar, I get that. And it still is sweet, but just for me personally, can't do it. So a 65 for my first uh, review. And um, I hope that helps you decide. I mean, if you've seen these, um, I've seen them a couple places. I'm pretty sure Walmart has some. Um, I've seen them the other couple places around, and I've, I've always thought about trying them out. So I picked this one up uh, at the Dollar Tree and thought uh, we'd give it a shot. So again, my name is The Endorsement. Does this product get my endorsement? No. No. And it's going to be very rarely a yes I mean, I maybe it's going to be a straight up yes or no. Like, will I endorse this product? Will I tell people about this product? Will I go out and buy this product again? Will I drink it if someone gave it to me free? Mm, probably not. As you can see, I haven't even taken a third sip. But again, not horrible, um, but just not for me and not for my taste buds. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I guess that's it. So again, my name is The Endorsement. This is my first video. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Um, I would appreciate it very much. Um, I'm hoping that I could give a new kind of dimension to these food reviews, kind of give you some information um, and kind of go that route, um, as well as giving you other options where I was saying I'm reviewing this, but at the same time, those Arizona uh, teas that come in, a, you know, the 23-ounce cans as well, 99 cents. Um you know, I prefer almost basically all of those flavors over this, mainly because of the sweetness. Um, so I'll kind of mix it up and kind of go from there. So definitely subscribe, like, um, inform people, and uh, hopefully uh, you'll tune back in again and I'll get another review out. Um, I'm not sure how, how often I'm going to be able to get these reviews out or, um, you know, the frequency, but... I hope to do definitely at least one a week, um, and then when I can start doing the food reviews, going out and getting them at the you know, fast food places or, or anything from uh, the freezer section or just about anything. I'm not scared. I'll do candy. I'll, I'll do anything edible. Um, I love food. I love giving my opinions about food, um, and I hope you enjoyed it. So, again, the endorsement signing out. Do I endorse, endorse pink lemonade and tea, peace tea? No. Is it worth trying if you don't mind that little aftertaste in your mouth? Yes. All right. So hope everyone enjoyed, and you have a great day. Thank you.